is our plan to film tonight with two head torches and a GoPro in the middle. Hopefully we can see in the dark and see, I can show you what I'm doing with the, the setup. Let's go, let's go for it. Fold those legs in. with Polaris the best I can. Uh, it's not too far off actually, I'll leave it like that. Get the power hooked up. Please remember to take the lens cap off. Okay, taking a test shot, three seconds just to check focus. But I'm probably gonna, yeah, slightly out. So what I'm gonna do is grab a focus mask. I don't have a ZWO EAF, so I'm just using this focus mask. Let's put that on there. Let's try again. I need to get those six diffraction spikes equally spaced apart, and then we've got good focus. That's pretty good. Go back slightly. Let's try one more. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That looks really good. Very good. Cool. Step one's done. Step two is polar align. So let's go and have a look at, let me just check focus without the focus mask to be sure. Yeah, that's looking lovely and crisp. Okay, so I want to do PA. Let's go. So it's gonna move the right ascension axis, six, 60 degrees degrees to try and work out how far it is out from the pole star and then we can just make some adjustments. So, not actually that far out, actually. I just need to go up a tiny bit and left a tiny bit. It's an iterative process, getting polar aligned. You make adjustments to the mount and then it tells you how far off you are. And if the number gets bigger, you've gone the wrong way. And if it gets smaller, you're going in the right direction. Hopefully this will give me a smiley face. 
I'm hoping so. Gives you a face at the top there, lets you know how good your polar alignment is. Uh, okay, I need to go down. I've, I've overshot it with the latitude. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. My total error is only 15 arc seconds now. Let's see if I can get even better actually. It becomes slightly addictive. I know I only need one degree of accuracy, but it becomes a bit addictive trying to get the numbers even better and better. That is looking good. Just 11 seconds of error. How low can we get this? <laughs> Smiley face, just four seconds, arc seconds of error, and I think we're good there. So now, I just think we'll go to preview, and we'll pick an object to go to, and hopefully plate solve on the way. I didn't actually have a target chosen beforehand, so I thought I'd just rely on having a scroll and seeing what I like the look of and what was well placed. I ended up choosing NGC 981, which is a spiral galaxy not dissimilar to our own, and it's edge on, which is interesting. So it's like looking at our Milky Way, but much, much further away. And it's 30 million light years away in Ursa Major. Once I'd uh, got to that and plate solved, I set up the guiding by uh, running through the calibration and that does take a good couple of minutes as you can see here. As soon as I noted the guide graph was settling nicely, I went on to set up a sequence of capturing 20 times 2 minute exposures. Just not a great deal of data, but enough as a stopping point just to assess the situation. Pretty soon after returning to the data, I looked at it and thought, oh yeah, it's a bit soft. So I zoomed in, had a closer look, which confirmed that the focus was a little bit out, not how I initially set it up. So something had happened, possibly the Takashi's crude single speed focus. It's, only, it's not designed for imaging that particular Takashi, so that would be understandable. Or it could be that I just took it from a warm house and hadn't properly let it acclimatise. But I decided to skip the focus mask and move on to the inbuilt focus assist tool on the SIR, which gives you two numbers, one at the top, which you need to get as low as possible, and one at the bottom that you need to get as high as possible. I got the top number down in the twos, which was an improvement. So I decided to scrap the previous data and take another shot at it. This time I took 3 minute exposures and the signal looked a lot better and I took 30 of those, so about an hour and a half. Didn't go too long because the dew, dew was building up in the lenses. Oh, that's better. So I had to change the focus again. <gasps> you took that picture? That's your picture? That's just one sub-exposure. What's the actual? Was it worth getting cold for? Yeah. I'm not even that cold. <laughs> uh, on top of that, I'm not even that That's looking superb. That's the best galaxy I've ever seen. 
looking absolutely. What's that galaxy called? The silver. Silver sliver galaxy. This is the third of that galaxy. Looking, there's some little galaxies in the background as well. Is that? No, there's a galaxy there. That's a galaxy. <gasps> Let's see what else there is. That's a galaxy there. Galaxy there. That's so many galaxies. Galaxies everywhere. That's me. It's like zooming out on our Milky Way. Thank you.